A graph can be represented very simply, very easily and in a very popular way known, known as the adjacency matrix. So, adjacency matrix is nothing but a square matrix having got dimension n cross n where n is nothing but number of nodes in the graph. So, if you go for one example for the better understanding on this. So, let us consider this particular graph it is having 4 nodes 1, 2, 3 and 4. So, its respective adjacency matrix will have 4 columns and 4 rows. Okay. So, these are, these, uh, these are nothing but 1, 2, 3, 4 and 1, 2, 3, 4 and across the particular cell at location R comma C that is at the Rth row and Cth column, I shall be writing the number of edges in between. That means, if two nodes are adjacent to each other, if two nodes are adjacent to each other and then that means that they are having a direct edge in between, then in that case I shall be putting 1 there and if two nodes are not adjacent to each other, the in that particular place I shall be putting 0. Now, here you see 1 is adjacent with 2, 3, 4, 2 is adjacent with 1, 3, 4 and so on. So, that is why all the nodes are adjacent to each other, any pair of nodes are adjacent. So, that is why I am writing this 1 for all the locations except at the diagonal places. Because at the diagonal places, 1 is not adjacent to 1 because there is no edge or no, no loop in between 1 to 1 again. So, that is why I am putting their zeros. So, at the diagonal places I have put here zeros and but for all, the, all other places I have put here 1. Let us suppose this age is, is, not, is not existing that is the age between 3 and 4. Then 3 and 4 this particular place will be having value 0 and 4 and 3 this particular place will be having value 0 in that case. Okay. This is undirected graph that means one age between 1 and 2 indicates that 2 is adjacent with 1 and 1 is adjacent with 2. In that case, what will happen in its adjacency matrix representation, the upper triangular and the lower triangular matrices will remain the same. That means, the first row will be same as the first column, the second row will be same as the second column and that is true for the third row and third column and the fourth column and the fourth row. You can easily find 0 1 1 1 here also I am finding 0 1 1 1. So, it is true in case of undirected graph, but in case of directed graph 1 age from 1 to 2 means 1 is adjacent with 2 it does not indicate that 2 is adjacent with 1 if the arrow is being directed from 1 to 2. Okay. So, in those cases the upper triangular and the lower triangular uh, matrices will not will not remain same for this particular adjacency matrix. So, adjacency matrix is a very common representation and most of the graph theory algorithms it takes this adjacency matrix as input as a representation of the graph on which the algorithm works. So, please watch our next videos where we are going to discuss other representation of this graph onto the computer's memory. Thanks for watching this one.